Hello, hello, welcome back, guys. Nouns, a mistake, a situation, alternatives, information, a problem, a solution, possibilities. Let's discuss some questions, then ask your partner. Don't forget to use the new vocabulary. When you make decisions, do you explore all the possibilities first? Who do you talk to when you need to find a solution to an important problem? When was the last time you analyzed a mistake you made? What did you learn from it? Can you solve problems? Can you find solutions? Nice. Now, let's learn the following vocabulary. Verbs. Analyze. Find. Organize. Explore. Make. Solve. Nouns. A mistake. A situation. Alternatives. Information. A problem. A solution. Possibilities. Let's discuss some questions, then ask your partner. Don't forget to use the new vocabulary. When you make decisions, do you explore all the possibilities first? Who do you talk to when you need to find a solution to an important problem? When was the last time you analyzed a mistake you made? What did you learn from it? which means you're a step closer to complete your English course. Pay attention to the last topic. Non-defining relative clauses as sentence modifiers. You can use non-defining relative clauses with which to make a comment about an entire sentence. I have three cats, which means there's usually a lot of cat fur on my clothes. My roommate is a slob, which is why I want to get my own apartment. Non-defining relative clauses as sentence modifiers. In these relative clauses, the relative pronoun which refers not to a particular noun, but to the whole idea in the main clause. Non-defining relative clauses are always the second clause in a two-clause sentence. Because these clauses are non-defining, they are set off from the main clause by a comma. This type of non-defining relative clause adds information or a comment that applies to the first clause but it is not essential information. That cannot be used to begin a non-defining relative clause. For example, laptop computers are easy to carry, which is why many people travel with one. People enjoy playing video games, which means new software titles come out all the time. If you notice, these clauses make a comment on the complete sentence as opposed to commenting on just the noun. To finish up, type three sentences using which to make a comment. All right, guys, welcome back. Welcome back. How are you today? Hello, hello. Good evening. Can you hear me? Good evening, teacher. Hello, Gloria. Good evening. How are you today? I'm fine. I'm sleepy. <laughs> You're sleepy? Really? Yes. What time did you wake up today? Mm, I didn't sleep. <laughs> oh, really? You've been up all night? Yes. yes. I was doing my homework okay. because today was the deadline. Uh huh. But no, I will sleep. Okay. Fine. <laughs> okay, that's great. That's awesome. And also tomorrow you don't have English class, 
so you can also go to sleep early as well. <laughs> yes. Yeah, that's what I'm going to do. I'm going to, when I finish my other job, I'm just going to relax and go to sleep early tomorrow. All right. Welcome, Carlos. Welcome, Elizabeth. Hello, Sergio. Welcome, Gloria. Hello, Sandra. Who can tell me what information you remember from yesterday's class? What Good information? Uh-huh. Good evening, teacher. Good evening, Carlos. Uh, tell me, Carlos, what information do you remember about yesterday's class? Uh, I don't um, uh, stay in the class uh, yesterday. Oh, okay, okay. Hey, what about anybody else? Who else remembers the activities from yesterday's class? Good evening, teacher. Hi, good evening. Uh, yesterday, uh, activities we did. We did. Mm -hmm. uh, the first, uh, to, uh, read the sentence. Mm -hmm. How crea cre creative are you? How creative are you? Okay, good. good. Okay. After that, we studied. Well, studied. Study. Explore, exploring, exploring possibilities. Exploring possibilities. Aha, uh aha. -huh, uh -huh. And we did um, exercise in the class in the classroom. In the classroom, yes, correct. Yeah. Okay, um, very, very good, Elizabeth. Thank you, thank you. Okay, guys, so today we're going to be looking at relative clauses. So for the relative clauses, we're going to be taking a look at exercise number 4.9, non-defining relative clauses as sentence modifiers. Please pay attention to the video. I'm going to give you some examples. And then you will give me some examples. We're about to finish advanced two, which Can means you're hear? a step closer to complete your English course. Can everybody Pay attention hear? to the last topic. Yes, teacher. Yes. Right. Defining relative clauses as sentence modifiers. You can use non-defining relative clauses with which to make a comment about an entire sentence. I have three cats, which means there's usually a lot of cat fur on my clothes. My roommate is a slob, which is why I want to get my own apartment. All right. Now, let's analyze these examples real quick. Let's take a look at this real quick. So it says, I have three cats, which means there's usually a lot of cat fur on my clothes. All right. So if I say to you, uh, which means... There's usually a lot of cat fur on my clothes. So in this section right here, which means there's usually a lot of cat fur on my clothes, this is what we call the non-defining relative clauses as sentence modifiers. Why? Because the main clause or the main idea is I have three cats, right? So that's the main idea. I have three cats. 
So the non-defining relative clause is, which means there's usually a lot of cat fur on my clothes, right? Um, another example can be if I say to you, uh, I have a dirt bike. Do you know what is a dirt bike? No. A uh, dirt bike is la, la motocicleta montañera. La que se llama off-road. You know what I'm talking about? Okay. Okay. So if I say to you, I have a dirt bike. Tengo una moto montañera. Eh, which means <laughs> I hop on and off the curb. The curb on oh, no, the sidewalk. The sidewalk. Okay. Quiere decir, yo tengo una montañera. ¿Qué quiere decir que me subo y me bajo de la cera? Or the other example, I have three cats. Tengo tres gatos, which means there's usually a lot of cat fur on my clothes. ¿Qué quiere decir? Que casi siempre hay bastante pelos de gato en mi ropa. Okay, another example. Let's see another example. Um, I studied, I studied English in the U.S. Yo estudié inglés en los estados. Which means I am bilingual. Right? Dice, yo estudié inglés en los Estados Unidos, which means I am bilingual. ¿Qué quiere decir que soy bilingüe? Otro ejemplo, alguien que me quiere dar un ejemplo, a volunteer. Somebody? Okay. Eh, por ejemplo, puedes decir, I... Okay, okay. I exercise every day. Yo hago ejercicios todos los días. Which means, which means I wake up very early. Yo me levanto bien temprano. I exercise every day. Which means, I wake up very early. ¿Qué quiere decir? Que me levanto bien temprano. A volunteer wants to give you an example. One volunteer that wants to give me an example. Hi. Elizabeth. Hi, Elizabeth. Hi, I try, teacher. Go ahead, Elizabeth. I learned to cook with my grandma, mm -hmm. which means I cook delicious traditional uh -oh. food. <laughs> okay, very good, very good. You say, I learned to cook from my grandmother. 
which means I cook very delicious. Excellent, good example, good example. Can somebody else give me another example, please? Another example? Anybody? I study graphic design, which means I I'm creative. Very good. I study graphic design, which means I am creative. Perfect, Gloria. Thank you. Good job. Okay. All right, guys, any questions about these examples? Any questions about these examples, guys? Somebody? No questions, teacher. Okay, all right. All right, guys, um, I would like for us to, I would like for you guys to give me some examples. I want you to take a look on the discussion forum and I want you to give me some examples using this structure, okay? Um, look at this example. My roommate is a slob. Mi compañero de cuarto es un chuco, which is why. ¿Cuál es la razón el por qué? I want to get my own apartment. Quiero conseguir mi propio apartamento. That's another example. Okay. I can say, for example... Um, ah, vaya. The gym is full in the morning. El gym está lleno por las mañanas, which is why, que es la razón el por qué, which is why. I go jogging instead. Eh, es la razón el por qué yo mejor voy a trotar. Right, this is another example. Okay. Any questions? Any questions right now? Do you understand the activity? Yes. Yes, teacher. Okay. So I would like for you guys to work in pairs. And I would like for you guys to give me at least five examples. You're going to go where it says, añade una publicación. You're going to go non-defining relative clauses as sentence modifiers. You're going to put a titulo right there. And then here, you're going to give me at least five examples. At least five examples. And then you're going to go enviar. Do you understand? Yes, teacher. All clean. Okay, let's go ahead. You have five minutes. 
and then we are going to check your examples and I will give you any observations. Let's go. Let me spell. Let me see. Lee L. Allergic. He wrote it in the chat. Ah. <clears throat> I am allergic. Two rabbits fur. Two. 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 Yes. Or... Yes. Two. D two. O. Yes. Two rabbits. Rabbits. Fur. Mm, I will write it in in the chat. I am allergic to rabbits fur. Do or two? Two. Two. Uh, do. I, I'm, I'm writing in the chat. Just a minute. To rabbit fur. Which is why I'm I can see. Um, I'm writing. Okay. Which is why I'm not able to have Any rabbit, any rabbit as a pet.
I'm going to write another example in the chat. Okay. Ay, ya no va a sacar, no puede ser. <laughs> All right, welcome back, guys. Who wants to give me one example? One volunteer that wants to give me one example. Anybody? Only one. You can do it. Give it a try. Hi, teacher. Hi. Elizabeth, okay, go ahead. Elizabeth, let me hear your examples, please. Okay. My computer is fixed, fixed, which is why I buy a new portable computer. Ah, okay, okay. So you said, uh, okay, so you said my laptop broke down. Se me arruinó. Broke down. Which is why I will buy a new one for Christmas. Like that? Yes. <laughs> <laughs> All right, go ahead. Read the example. Read the example. I'm going to share it here. Read the example. Elizabeth, can you read the example? Okay. No, no. My laptop broke down, which is why I will buy a new one for Christmas. <laughs> Excellent. Excellent. All right, good job. Do you have another example, Elizabeth? Uh, Gloria, Gloria. Uh, um, uh, uh, another example. Okay, uh, Gloria, sorry. Dedocraticamente, <laughs> you have another example. <laughs> Don't worry. <laughs> okay. Go ahead, Gloria. Um, I am allergic to rabbit's fur, which is why I'm not able to have any rabbit as a pet. Excellent. I am 
allergic to rabbit fur, which is why I can't have a pet rabbit. Okay. Go ahead, read the example, Gloria. I am allergic to rabbit fur, which is why I can have a pet rabbit. Perfect. Perfect. Good job. Um, do you have another example? Yes. Mm -hmm. Sophia gets dizzy when she takes the bus, which is why she prefers to take a walk wherever she goes. Very good. Lucia. Sophia. <laughs> Sophia, sorry. Sophia gets dizzy when she rides bus, which is why she prefers walk where wherever she goes. Excellent. Okay, Sophia gets dizzy when she rides the bus, which is why she prefers to walk wherever she goes. Okay, go ahead, Gloria, read the example. Sophia gets dizzy when she rides the bus, which is why she prefers to walk wherever she goes. Perfect. Perfect. Thank you, Gloria. All right. Does anybody else have any other example they might want to share with the class? Somebody else? Major. Go ahead, Arsenio. Share your example, please. I work in the morning. Why is why I can study to exam? Oh, okay, very good. I work in the morning, which is why I can't study for the exam. Perfect. Perfect. Okay. All right. Uh, looks like you guys understand this topic. Um, does anybody have any questions right now about this topic or a doubt? Pregunta sobre este tema o consultas sobre esta estructura gramatical? Okay, let's look at the video one more time. An apartment. Non-defining relative clauses as sentence modifiers. In these relative clauses, the relative pronoun which refers not to a particular noun, but to the whole idea They are set off from the main clause by a comma. Can this type of non-defining relative clause adds information or a comment hear? that applies to the first clause. Can but it hear? is not yes, teacher. Yes, teacher. Yes, teacher. Yes, teacher. It cannot be used okay. to begin a non-defining relative clause. For example, laptop computers are easy to carry, which is why many people travel with one. People enjoy playing video games, which means new software titles come out all the time. If you notice, these clauses make a comment on the complete sentence as opposed to commenting on just the noun. To finish up, type three sentences using which to make a comment. Okay, so on the video it says to give three examples, you wrote five. 
So that's better, more practice for you. All right, uh, any questions about this activity, guys? Questions about this activity on section 4.9, non-defining relative clauses as sentence modifiers. Any questions about this topic? Okay. All right, let's go ahead and uh, take a look at the following exercise. For the following exercise, we're gonna look at knowledge check, which is section 4.10, knowledge check, section number 4.10, instructions. Match the statements with the appropriate non-defining clauses. I would like for you to work with your partners and share and compare your answers. If you already did it, share your answers with your classmates. If you didn't do it, please do it now. Any questions? Any questions? No question. No teacher. All right. Ready? Let's go. You will have five minutes. Five minutes. I'm trying to share my my screen. No, ya no puedo compartir. Pero sí, ya la terminé. Sí, yo también ya, ya las terminé. No sé si alguien necesita ayuda. Yo ya las terminé también. Me tú. All right, guys, it looks like everybody already finished the exercise. So we're going to go ahead and take a look. Let me have the first one says instructions match the statements with the appropriate non-defining clauses. Let's look at number one. Let me have one volunteer for number one. One Volunteer for number one. Me, teacher. Okay, thank you, Gloria. Go ahead, do number one for me, please. 
I want to give all away. Sorry, <laughs> I want to give away all my old books, which means I have to get boxes for them. Perfect. Which means I have to get boxes for them. Excellent. Thank you, Gloria. Number two. One volunteer for number two. One volunteer for number two. Me, teacher. All right, Elizabeth, number two. I have looked my keys in my car, which is is why you saw saw me opening with opening it with a cut hanger. Very good. Very good. Uh, repeat, please. Locked. 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 Very good. Thank you. Excellent. Which is why you saw me opening it with a coat hanger. Very good. Let me have the next one for number three. Another volunteer. Number three. Me, teacher. Excellent. Anna. Anna. I am go. Go ahead. Okay. I am going to repay my room next week, which is why I've been saving all newspapers. Very good. Excellent. Which is why I've been saving old newspapers. Good job. Thank you. Number four. Who wants to volunteer for number four? Who wants to volunteer for number four? Me, teacher. Uh, Elisa. Thank you, Elisa. Yes. Uh, my son made a robot costume for himself. This is why he was covered in aluminum foil yesterday. Excellent. Which is why he was covered in aluminum foil yesterday. Perfect. Number five. Another volunteer. Me, teacher. Yes, Sandra. Number five. Our neighbor saves her empty heart for my dad, which is great since he used them to store nails and things in his workrooms. Very good. Perfect. Uh, repeat, please. Jars. 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 Good job. Excellent. And then let me have another participant for number six. Another participant for number six. Me, teacher. <clears throat> yeah. Me, teacher. Yes. Number six, teacher. Yes. My new cell phone can store and play music, which is great because I can listen to it while I'm on the subway. Excellent, which is great because I can listen to it while I'm on the subway. While, while, I, while I'm on the subway. While I'm in the subway. While I'm um, the subway. Perfect. All right. Number seven. One more volunteer. Number seven. Another volunteer. Me, 
Need teacher. Elmer. Go ahead, Elmer. It's easy to get lost when drive, driving in a new city, which is why personal navigation system were developed for cars. Very good. Which is why personal navigation systems were developed for cars. Very good, Elmer. Thank you. And let me have number eight, another participant. Number eight, another participant. Me, teacher. Yes, Damaris. Alan still listens to music on an old-fashioned record player, which is strange science cassette and CDs have been around for so long now. Very good. Sorry about that. Give me one second. Okay. Uh, which is, which is why personal navigation? What is your answer? Sorry. Which is a strange science cassette and CDs. Has been around for so long now. Very good. Have been around for so long now. Thank you. Elisa and the Maddies. Good job. All right. And let's check it out. Perfect. Good job, guys. Excellent work. Does anybody have any questions at this moment about this exercise? Does anybody have any questions right now at this moment about this exercise? Somebody. No, no question, teacher, about the exercise. Okay, okay. Can you, teacher, uh, excuse me. Uh, can you, can you, can you hear me, hear, hear me? Yes. Um, the platform, um, I don't work the the platform exercise this this quad four point two. Yes. Two? Yeah. Uh, one someone hoping to be a chef should get the proper training. Okay. Uh, anyone wanting to be an actor needs both talent and luck. Number three, a person working as a comedian is always looking for new ways to make people laugh. People clever enough to get inside the mind of a criminal would make good detectives. Anyone dreaming of becoming a champion athlete has to be prepared to do a lot of hard work. Um. Someone responsible for a large staff has to be able to create to be creative with scheduling. Okay, teacher, excuse me. Uh, um, can you write in the chat the answer, please? Uh, yes, I'll write them afterwards. Thank you. Okay, guys, let's go ahead and continue. So we were finishing section 4.0. Let's go ahead and move forward 
and we're going to look at section number final exam listening okay listening i would like for you to work in pairs and complete the exercise um, y yo voy a mandar las respuestas al grupo ready let's go De... No sabía yo eso. A mí me mandaron, pero para el, el manual del participante. Ah, es que mandaron. Un... Is everybody finished? Yes, yes teacher. Ok. También me mandaron uno para, para el manual del participante, pero para inscribirme al otro, solo me preguntaron si estaba este, eh, interesado. Al día. Ajá, confirmar. Ajá, Ajá sí, sí, también. 
dijeron que el lunes como que a más tardar nos van a enviar, ¿verdad? Ajá, pero a los que hemos terminado solo la plataforma, tengo entendido. Uh Ah, bueno, ahí sí no sé. Ahí sí no sé. Pero bueno, a ver qué tal. -huh. Sí, regresamos. <ríe> Sí, ahí está el teacher aquí con nosotros acompañándonos. Ah, okay. Hi, teacher. Hey, how you doing? Ah, okay. Yes, teacher. I finished the, the homework. All right, let's do it. Let's do it. Let's check. We're going to check right now. Yes, okay. Bye. All right, see you later. All right, it looks like everybody already finished it. So let's go ahead and check it together. Our technology report this evening is on making the world a smaller place. Linda? Thanks, Ted. These days, with college students studying in different cities or even abroad, families spread all over the world, and even more office employees working with overseas companies, people are looking for better ways to communicate with each other. Many people already use video calling with family, friends, and business associates, And as this technology continues to improve, even more people will be using this helpful communication tool. It used to be that video calling meant seeing unclear faces, hearing bad audio, and losing the internet connection. Now, the images are sharp, the sound is clear, and people stay connected for the entire call. People can communicate with each other as if they were in the same room, even though they are in faraway places. Additionally, video calling isn't just for computers. Many people are using video calling apps with their smartphones, making it even easier to connect anywhere, anytime. With this technology, the world gets smaller and smaller. Don't you think that's a good thing, Ted? I sure do. Thanks, Linda. This has been our technology report. Okay. Let me have one volunteer give me the answer for number one. Me, teacher. Elmer. Okay, yeah. it's a letter A. Are you using video calling? Are using video calling. Good job. Number two. Another volunteer. Number two, another volunteer. Number two, another volunteer. Me, teacher. All right, go ahead. Anna. The software has been improved. The software has been improved. Excellent. All right, number three, next one. Somebody else. Number three, the next one, somebody else. Older video calling had problems Gloria. such as unclear audio. Unclear audio, good job. Number four, somebody else. Number four, I'm sorry. They are son and pitch. Clear sound and pitch. Thank you. All right. Part two. Number one. Jenny is disciplined and motivated to work. True or false? True. 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 Jenny majored in history and politics. False. False. Jenny has never written for a newspaper before.
is false. 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 Jenny thinks archaeology is exciting. True. 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 Her counselor wants her to try news reporting. It's true. 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 All right. Good job, guys. All right. We're going to stop right here. It's time to go. See you tomorrow, guys. Good night. Bye-bye.